So I have a little demo here on masking. And what I'm going to do is I'm also going to show scenes, how to navigate through scenes. Now one of the cool things about here is in your text tool you also have all these additional properties and settings and things like that that you can adjust. Um, there's an align tool over here. I can go ahead, I just need to make sure this align to stage is checked off. And then I'm going to align and align to, it to center. Um, I'll change the color of my background just for fun um, to orange. And And don't like the bevel. So, and I've added a drop shadow. And maybe I want to change it to um, all right. So here's my text, title of my animation by me. Now What I can do is I can add a mask. Now, I'm going to name my layer mask. I'm going to add a shape. And I'm going to just make sure that this color is something blatantly sort of obvious. And I'm going to do something like so. And just to make sure it lines correctly, I'm going to want to make sure I make it slightly larger. And that should do it. Now, I'll make it even a little bit larger. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on my mask layer and I'm going to click on mask. And now you'll notice that I can't see anything. I'm going to undo that really quickly and I'm going to show you what's happening. First, I'm going to give myself some frames to play. Insert frame. Then I'm going to take this mask layer, and I'm going to press F8, convert it to a symbol. I'm going to make it a graphic this time. And I'm going to call this mask rectangle. And I'm going to create a motion tween. We all know how to do all that. From here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it, and I'm going to slide it straight down to about here. And now, I'm going to right click and hit mask. And you'll notice, when it plays, now it just shows the text when the mask itself is directly over the text. Now, if I unlock this, you'll see, um, when you lock it, it's, it's as if it were playing um, this swift. Now, What I could do, I'm just extending it a little bit longer. So now that I've got this, what I can do is when I want to see my text, I can unhide it and vice versa. Now, other things I want to show you is let's just say I want this to be my, um, my title sequence or my introduction or something like that or my credits. So I'm going to press Shift F2, and it could be under Window Scene here. And I'm going to rename this, and I'm going to call this Intro Scene. Intro Credits Scene, and press Return. And you'll notice that scene gets renamed. If I want to create a new one, I can go ahead and add a new one. And I would call this maybe Scene 1. Um, yeah, that's fine. And in here, in scene one, what I'll do is just to show you is I'm going to have a sphere navigate across the screen, or circle. And I'm going to go out to frame 48, 
insert frame, create motion tween, and I'm going to take this and I'm going to just drag it across the screen just so we have some motion going. There we go. So now when I play this back, going from scene to scene, title of animation, and there we go. And it'll loop back, obviously. One more thing I want to do is in my scene one, I'm going to add a new layer. I'm just going to call this sound. To import sound, file, import to library. And I have this Siri sound that I had downloaded. I'm going to open. And now in my library, I have my Siri sound effect. And what I want us to do with this is I'm going to lock my blue circle layer and I'm going to take my Siri sound and I'm going to drag and drop it onto the stage. And when I play it back, you can't hear anything when you just scrub through it. And before you just jump in and hit play on there, I want you to go to the sync and change this to stream. And now when you play it, it will play. Um, and it should start right here in scene one. So that's how you go about adding uh, scene one with sound. And that's how you go about adding sound. And you'll see scene one with sound. And if I click back here, and you can dock this off to the side if you'd like. So you have your scenes over here. And that's all there is to it uh, as far as uh, a bunch of cool little things to enhance your um, work in progress animations. Thanks for watching.